It's great, as I said, to see so many familiar faces here, and I hope you've all had a fabulous day. I've had the opportunity to walk around the exhibition and the conference, and it's all very busy, and it's great to see everybody doing so much business at such a very important time. Again, I want to welcome you here to the Electricity Awards. These awards recognize the outstanding achievements of individuals, of departments, different teams or, or organizations that have contributed to the growth and the development of the Middle East power and energy sectors. Now, as you can see, looking around you, I hope you've had time to talk to many of your colleagues and your peers. We've gathered a wealth of knowledge here the experts in this industry, the senior industry professionals and influencers, who are the people yourself driving this industry and really shaping the future of the electricity and the power industry here in the Middle East. Now this evening we will have seven categories of awards, but we also have four special awards this evening, and that's in recognition of achievements in the industry. Welcome to the second edition of the Middle East Electricity Awards and the 38th edition of the Middle East Electricity Exhibition. As we look back over the years of Middle East Electricity, we have proudly established ourselves as the region's largest and longest running power event. We are here tonight to once again pay tribute to the outstanding achievements of individuals, teams and organizations that have contributed to the growth and development of the regional energy industry with a focus on power, lighting, renewable, and nuclear sectors. The Middle East energy sector continues to grow with new and exciting projects, innovations and developments being announced every year. Throughout the region and tonight is our chance to recognize, appreciate, and celebrate these accomplishments. I must express my appreciation to the judges for their committed efforts in sorting through the very impressive nominations received this year. I would like to thank you all for your nominations and for your continued support for Middle East Electricity. Middle East Electricity has been growing from strength to strength over the years, and this has been possible only due to the great support of our exhibitors, partners, supporting associations, sponsors, and visitors. Thank you. We are proud to partner with Dubai Municipality to launch the Green Energy Conference this year, our very special thanks to Dubai Municipality for their invaluable support and guidance on this event. This year, we also launched the Solar Middle East Exhibition and Conference. These events are particularly relevant at this time of, uh, in this region, where the Middle East events are particularly focusing on renewables and, uh, and green initiatives. We expect both of these events to grow to its full potential in the coming editions, with your support, of course. I hope you've had a great first year at the show, and the next two days will be even more successful. Your success is our success. On behalf of the Informa Energy Group and the entire Middle East Electricity team, a special thanks to each and every one of you gathered here, and good luck to all our nominees, and I wish you an enjoyable evening. Thank you. I am very pleased to be here with you today to receive the Honorable Power Personality of the Year Award by the Middle East Award 2013 on behalf of Dubai Electricity and Water Authority. I am delighted that our efforts and our outstanding achievement have been recognized with this accolade. Our vision is to become a sustainable, sustainable world-class utility and this requires the inclusion and operation of the world-class standards in operation and management. This, this uh, further supports our commitment to achieve the vision of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of UAE and ruler of Dubai, for a sustainable future for the United Arab Emirates, our efforts will continue to support this vision. Thank you very much. Excuse me, sir. Yeah.
Environmental Partner Award. And this award is being presented to the Environmental Center for Arab Towns. And to receive this award, I'd like to call on the stage the Director of the Environmental Center for Arab Towns, Engineer Mohammed Al Nouri. The HSE Project of the Year. The Lighting Project of the Year. The Solar Project of the Year. The Corporate Social Responsibility Project of the Year and the Power and Water Utility of the Year as well. So a wonderful set of awards. Solar Pumping Systems by Alsa Solar Systems Limited for Dubai Municipality. Mahindra Power All Diesel Generating Sets by Mahindra Power All. We have three nominees. And the winner in this category for the Best Innovation or Technology of the Year Award is Solar Pumping Systems by Alsa Solar Systems Limited for Dubai Municipality. And friends. is the Power Project of the Year Award, so I'd like you, if you would, to also deliver this award. The shortlist candidates for this award, King Saud University Girls Campus by Schneider Electric KSA, Hale Power Plant 3 by Al Fanar Constructions, and Bahra Cables by Bahra Cables Company. And the winner of the Power Project of the Year Award this award goes to Hale Power Plant 3 by Alphanar Constructions. And again, Alphanar Constructions, congratulations, well done to you. The Power Project of the Year Award for Hale Power Plant. This is the HSE Project or Initiative of the Year. Electrical Service Safety Initiative by ABB UAD. Visible Commitments Towards HAC by Raslafan Power Company. And our third nominee, Behavioral Based Safety Fresh Eyes by Qatar Power Company. The winner of the HSE Project or Initiative of the Year Award goes to Visible Commitments Towards HSC by Raslafan Power Company. <laughs> Mr. Nubarak Al Nasser and friends. It's good they're all bringing friends tonight. We have a big stage here, so please. Well done, the HSE project. This, of course, very, very important project here. We are at the electricity show. If you're not here, the lights go out. So it's a very, very important uh, award here. The lighting project of the year. And I would really like to invite His Excellency, Mr. Saeed Mohammed al Tayar from Diwa to please present this award. Now the nominations for this award are LED Lighting and Solar PV Implementation by Bahri and Mazrui Trading Company. Second nominee on this, we have some fans here, this is good. Qatar National Convention Center by Light and Design Associates Limited. And our third nominee in this category, First Solar Lighting Project for Roads in UAE Rural Areas by Trojan Battery Company and Incon General Contracting. So the winner of the Lighting Project of the Year Award Goes to LED lighting and solar PD implementation by Bakri and Mizri Trading Company. We have Mr. Essam Al Mazri, the managing director. And friends, good, you're taking this serious. So big congratulations to Bakri and Mazri. Of course, it's always the tremendous work of the teams that you put together to do such major projects here. The nominations for the solar project of the year. I'd like to invite on stage first Mr. Abdullah Rafia, the Assistant Director General for Engineering and Planning from Dubai Municipality. If he would join us on stage here to present this award. We am Mazrui Trading Company. Solar Hybrid System by Alsa Solar Systems for Mazdar, Special Projects. And First Solar Lighting Project for Roads in Rural EAE by Trojan Battery Company 
and income general contracting. So the first solar lighting project for roads in UAE rural areas is the winner of the Solar Project of the Year Awards. Of Hydroturf Energy, Mohammed Hashi. The winner of the Solar Project of the Year Award. First solar lighting project for roads in rural UAE. So well done gentlemen, thank you so much. The nominees on this award for corporate social responsibility. We have two nominees on this. The Corporate Social Responsibility Initiative by the Society of Engineers in the UAE. And we also have Gitai Humankind Development Trust by Ramalex. So the winner of the Corporate Social Responsibility Initiative of the Year Award goes to the Society of Engineers in the UAE. Joining us on stage here, His Excellency Engineer Esa al Madur. Thank you so much for joining us. The President of the Society of Engineers, of course, and known to many to the Director General of Dubai Health Authority. So we're in good hands here tonight, an engineer and a from the health authority. So thank you for coming to join us. And again, congratulations. The nominees in this category are Raslafan Power Plants by Qatar Power, Power and Water Utility by Raslafan Power Company. The winner of the Power and Water Utility of the Year Award goes to Qatar Power for the project at Raslafan Power Plants. Mr. Alison Robinson and his colleague here. And again, these are very much team efforts. You all know that, and it's, it's a tremendous, a tremendous, uh, thank you, thank you, gentlemen. Now we want to look at the best campaign. This is a very special award, and particularly one for our exhibitors. And it's been presented to the company that really promoted their participation and presence in the Middle East Electricity Awards, and indeed the Electricity Show, through press advertising, online media, and really the build-up in terms of branding before coming here. And the winner for this, for the Best Campaign Award for 2013, goes to Falco And his colleague here, joining him, lovely to see you, Ahmed. So well done to Famco. A lot of, so that's what you've got to start doing now, you can start. I have a few more words to say, but once again, to everybody who is here, well done for all of the awards. And of course, we have highly commended certificates for all of the shortlisted entries. You know, they've done tremendous work here in the build-up to this, and uh, they all deserve. Getting directions from our camera guys, I think we have to pay attention to them. That's right. In other words, look at Martin, the guy who's calling the shots. We'll pay attention to him.